right guys good morning it is currently all right so it's currently eight o'clock right now and i had to get the gopro because i've been seeing a lot of scenic like sites especially in you know upstate new york i went to maine you guys you're gonna see that video and i just had to get the gopro out guys so right now i'm in rome new york so it's basically upstate and i have never really been out here before i think i've been through here like once so it's really beautiful um nice scenery there's waterways and yeah we're heading to a customer now so i figured why not just uh you know take the gopro out and film the experience family dollar dc so it's a live unfortunately it's in the live unload <laughs> But uh, we'll see what happens. I have a nine o'clock appointment time. It is 8.06 right now. And I have 13 minutes until I get there. So I like to bring up the locations. So obviously we're gonna be getting off this route. And then basically it's off of Ellsworth Road here. So the family dollar looks like there's a decent amount of room breakfast this morning was a v8 juice and applesauce so i'm literally fucking starving right now these last two weeks have been extremely extremely stressful in trucking last week was my worst week in trucking straight up like just had a late launch load on monday it was a holiday I got stuck in traffic in New York City, <laughs> my one of my least favorite places to drive through in a semi and a, and a car, so I got screwed there. That basically set me back, oh, I worked a 14 hour shift on that day, Monday, to get to the, to get to the customer that night. I was shot, dude, slept in an hour late on Tuesday. So my, everything was screwed up for the rest of the week, my whole schedule. So I was literally, I made, I think I made it on, on time to like two appointments. The rest I had to reschedule basically. So it was all screwed up. But yeah, that's the life of trucking sometimes basically. I did like 500 miles yesterday. So yesterday I went to go park into this one spot in this dirt lot to turn around and just to check out, do some paperwork, scan my stuff in. And this dump truck guy pulls up to me. Old, old guy's like, serious as hell looking. So I roll my window and I'm like, what's up? And he's just like, you can't park here. And I'm like, I'm eating lunch. He's like, I don't give a f And the guy went off on me. Ah, you better get out of here before I call the cops. I said, call the cops, dude. What are they gonna do? He's like, this is private property. Get it moving. I'm like, you know, I felt like saying, you are a miserable old, but I kept my cool. I I didn't leave right away, Steve. It's closed. Oh, dude, that sucks. That's going to put me back right there sometime, guys. And then you deal with stuff like this. Everything's going fine. And then you get exit ramps that are closed, guys. So I don't know where this is going to have me go. Probably straight and then do a turnaround or something. getting here now this place honestly looks pretty packed so i mean i might be here for a couple hours and then they tried saying at the gate that my appointment was for 0700 to seven o'clock it was but i had a rescheduled yesterday because i said i wasn't going to make it in time so all right guys just got to sign our door 112 where are you All right, so I'm gonna 90 into that because it is pretty tight.
right.